My last video on lo-fi hip-hop got quite popular, so I decided to show you some more useful and very juicy concepts by making another lo-fi hip-hop track from start to finish. Let's go! We set a rather slow tempo of around 70 beats per minute and find ourselves a nice piano sound. This soft piano by Spitfire Audio sounds really good and is totally for free. Link in the description. The first chord here is one of my favorites. It's called a major 7th chord. You make it by starting with a normal major chord, adding the root note to the top and moving it down one semitone. It has a nice, floaty and sophisticated sound to it. After a little while, I came up with this chord progression. It's important to make your piano more human-like by randomizing start and end points of your MIDI a bit. Let's find a nice melody now. I like using my real keyboard for this because it allows me to improvise until I find something I like. Now I will beef it up with some additional layers like this one. Or this one. Or this one. These presets all come from the talented folks over at Synth Control. If you like these sounds, check out the link in the description. This also helps out the channel. All these layers combined sound a little something like this. The basic drum beat is quite easily programmed, but if you want to make it sound really groovy and bouncy, you have to dig deeper. By moving some of these kick samples a bit back, it gets this nice laid back feel. With the track delay feature, you can even move your whole channel backwards in time. I did that with this snare here. If your head starts nodding while you listen to it, you are on the right track. Sounds nice, huh? Let me quickly show you what I did when it comes to mixing my drums. Layering multiple clap or snare sounds together very often yields good results. For this shaker here, I layered two sounds as well and panned them left and right a little bit, which creates a beautiful stereo width. Ableton Live has a secret weapon when it comes to mixing your drum bus. And surprisingly, it is called Drum Bus. You can add some overall compression and distortion here, plus this boom knob makes your kick more boomy, if you feel like it needs that. Just like in my last video, we had a nice atmospheric layer. This time I went with the classic vinyl noise again and some city ambience. At this point I try to sketch out the arrangement for the song. This is actually a super fun and quick process where you can play around with the individual elements you created and try to tell a little bit of a story. I really like the spoken word aspect of some lo-fi songs and I could of course quite easily find some interesting spoken word sample online, but I decided to make some of my own today. So I came up with these weird lyrics and processed the recording very heavily. I thought you liked me, you know. It seems like, it seems you only like the idea of us, but the reality is different. I can't compete with After some polishing, mixing and mastering, I came up with this. The song is available on Spotify right now, including the lo-fi track I made for my first video, 
maybe it could find a spot in your lo-fi playlist. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. It seems like it seems you only like the idea of us, but the reality is different. Seems like, it seems you only like the idea of us, but the reality is different.